Hello, hello, hello to everybody here is Dr. Gogoyal again talking about different topics and science. Remember guys that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website which is magazine.hms.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Gogoyal which topics do we have? Research, community, education, care delivery hours and achievement. The title of the article to review today is A Thousand Words, Studies of Medicine and Fall on Canvas. A Carolaus Durans de Convalescence, a bird man leans back, exhausted into a pillow, Carolaus Duran, the name used by 19th century French artist Charles August Emil Duran, brings his viewer into a sick room rendering the emotions of illness through light featured and posters. From Cambridge, Massachusetts at Harvard University Medical School, I want to remind to everybody who's listened to Dr. Wawile that we do mostly day these beautiful reviews. I continue straight away doing this review, studying this and other such paintings and recognizing elements of her own clinical experience in them has enriched at least Flattery's appreciation of sick rooms and deathbeds. It is an appreciation that translated to the clinic. I was rounding on a woman who has died of breast cancer, says Flatteris, a Harvard Medical School associate professor of neurology at Massachusetts General Hospital. I felt this empathic pain, so I asked her about her suffering. She called me and said she felt a peace that she had been completely in the quiet, lovely light in the room. I realized that some of my fatigue has been the projection of my own distress. Flattery continues her description of the cal empty white spaces of her sick room gave me the aesthetic distance that allowed me to see more of what's going on with her than I had seen when my eyes were screwed tight with imagined pain. Whether it's a sick room table or portrayal of a surgery or a portrait of a clinician or researchers, decision of medicine in art have wide-ranging effects on those who view them. Them, in addition to revealing the beauty in everyday clinical care, are inspired by medicine can connect doctors with the history of their profession, encourage them to confront ambiguous or consider alternative points of view, help situate their experiences with a larger context to of sharpened emotions, and lead them to improve patients' care in unexpected ways. Artists, subjects, and viewers connect on another level when the process of reconstructing historical events in medicine or capturing the character of a portrait subjects entails the same meticulous collections of data and keen observational skills practiced in medicine that physicians and painters should find one another kindred spirits is not surprising given the interwined histories and philosophies of of naturalistic art, science, and medicine, as Massachusetts-based artists Warren and Prospery, whether they feel an affinity with physicians and scientists, and they will elaborate on how they share a fascination with the natural of the human's experience. To capture these fascinations in their paintings, they allow themselves to be endless curious about the subject struggles to balance improvement with detachment and pursue their desire to craft scientifically accurate images based on close observation. We are empiricists. 
says Warren, a painter who in collaboration with his wife, a photographer, has produced dozens of paintings for Harvard Medical School affiliate institutions, most notable perhaps either either day a work complete in 2001 and displayed in a surgical amphitheater due to either dome in a full bench building at Mass General. In that room, in 1846, the use of inlay either as a surgical anesthetic was first demonstrated successfully. The prosperous idea of the principle of naturalism, a movement that arose in Europe in the mid 19th century, of as writer, visual artists, and filmmakers inspired by advances in natural science, though to apply scientific methods to their work. Reacting against the idealisms and symbolisms of romanticism, naturalist painters present realistic depiction of everyday life with as little distortion as possible. An example of this style and one that is among the more persuasive images of this current physician in art is the late 19th century painting The Doctor by British artist Sir Samuel Luke Fildes in the work Fildes portrayed a pensive clinician keeping watch over an ailing girl while her parents look on helplessly. Naturalistic artist water was a mound of data to ensure accuracy and prosperity are no exception. They spend hours talking with and portraying portrayed subjects until they are satisfied that they have captured not only minute physical details but also the person's essential character. Demonstrating the effective use of either during surgery launch United States medicine into the international spotlight, little wonder that when planning to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the landmark event, the hospital service chief and physician commissioned their prosperities to paint a historically accurate version of what happened that day. The researches the prosperities undertook for either they illustrate their dedication to telling stories correctly. Beyond authenticity, the choice made in paintings of medical topics take on symbolic value and convey what it means to be a doctor, a patient, or part of an institution. The doctor worry expression in files iconic painting reminds practitioners that sometimes medicine reaches its limits and all it can offer is empathy with the human experience. When English artist John Collier turns the physician away from the viewer in his 1980s, painting sentence of the is a subtly directing the viewer gaze to the young male patients and his shook expression in fact deciding how personally devastating the receipt of a terminal diagnosis can be all right guys remember you can download this beautiful review from the official website at harvard magazine and remember all these articles and thousands of them you will be able to find it and download it to read everybody around the world all right guys see you next time Bye-bye.